President Sein began his reforms by releasing Aung San Suu Kyi and hundreds of other political prisoners. And so he began to take steps, and these steps have been very, very wide. They include everything from releasing political prisoners, of course, but more than that, uh, forming labor unions, having demonstrations, limit, uh, cutting down on censorship, inviting dissidents back into the country, and trying to deal with the minorities in a more equitable way. There have been a number of things that the regime has done that have been very surprising. So one was letting Aung San Suu Kyi out of house arrest, legalizing her party, and then uh, they had a by-election uh, last March uh, in which that the NLD was allowed to run, uh, and it won, I believe, 44 of 45 open seats. They've liberalized the press considerably. In fact, that's come fairly recently, so that there now can be an opposition press that can criticize the government. You must remember that Myanmar, in a sense, does have some uh, democr democratic antecedents in the sense that it was part of British India in the past. And the constitutional developments that had taken place in the Indian system were present in Burma also. So it's not as if they're entirely, in a sense, unfamiliar with the democratic process.